Shalom, it's your brother Makaza. Uh, you know, I just wanted to do an extra real quick, just showing in the blue letter what they say about, um, and just bring out a few scriptures. Uh, first of all, on the Christians, um, showing that the diaspora, the Israelites are the ones that are scattered. Okay. Um, let me, uh, The Israelites are the ones that are scattered. So, let me go into the Blue Letter Bible real quick. And, uh, you know, I'm going to show you. I haven't got the, the program where I could uh, record the screen. So, I, I'm doing it like this. So, just, just work with me. Um, so, I'm going to type in John. Uh, this is what you... Uh, all right, um, just type in, when you go through the search, John, uh, 7, and, um, all right, uh, okay, I'm going to go down to verse 35. Okay, so the scripture says, and this is a cut to those that say, um, those that say that, uh, that, um, Israelites were not called Gentiles, and, th and this is going to cut it. Uh, John 7 and 35, then said the Jews among themselves, whither will he go that we shall not find him? They're talking about the Lord. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? So the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles. So the Israelites are the ones that are, um, <clears throat> you know, according to like the curses and various scriptures that they're um, scattered. So you won't see where where the heathen, the only time... And according and according to what Amos nine and twelve and Isaiah fourteen, those that cleave unto the house of Jacob and, and, and that will be considered strangers, they will cleave unto us. But as far as those that are scattered, is the seed of Israel is what scattered, not a spiritual Israelite or the Gentiles. You know what I'm saying? It's the Israelites that are scattered. But I I'm gonna click on. Uh, clicked on the C and you know this goes into the Greek now when you click on disperse going and and uh, when you have if you have the um, the scripture say uh, or it says Helen in as you can see and if you look that up in the blue letter Bible or not the blue letter Bible um, the Bible Com compact Bible dictionary going into the Hellenin, the Hellenin were uh, Greek-speaking Jews, okay, so that's where you get your, there's either Jew nor Greek, because the whole, the whole world, it wasn't being called Greek, so just like today, is the whole world being called American, if, so if I were to say, there's either Jew nor American, is, is the whole world, so how can someone take that, you Christians, you take that scripture, and that pertains to all nations, no, it doesn't, be, and if you read the Maccabees, you find out how we were uh, becoming Greeks, and it, and it was hard for us to profess to be a Jew. Okay, and you can watch that on my uh, my Prince Makaza uh, Daily Motion channel, where I talk about the two type of Gentiles. Okay, but um, this is I'm gonna click right here. You see uh, diaspora, and let's see what it says. Okay, so it says. It says uh, a scattering, this uh, person of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. But look at the second one of the Christians scattered um, uh, abroad among the Gentiles. So the Christians showing that the Christians are Israelites. OK, so let, let's get it. This is Acts. I'm going to just go. And so here, all right, this is Acts 11 and 26. Okay, um, 
Matter of fact, I'll start at 22. Uh, then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church was, which was in Jerusalem. And they sent forth Barnabas that he should go as far as Antioch. Who when he came and had seen the grace of the Most High was glad and exhorted them all that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. For he was a good man and full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord. Then departed Barnabas to Tarshish uh, for to seek Saul. And when and when he uh, and when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. Okay, so Antioch, and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people and the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch okay so <clears throat> and with the understanding of what the Christian meant back then before it, it, it was uh, you know to be a follower of Christ you look up the word Cretan it meant like idiot you know so that it was derogatory when you look that up even looking up in the Latin Christian meant like idiot and, and things like that. So, um, you know, let's go to um, just real quick. So the, the scriptures say of the Christians that were <clears throat> scattered among the Gentiles. So just showing real quick that that the, the Israelites are the ones that were scattered, not actual Gentiles. If you're you're going into Christians being all nations and kindreds and things like that. So this is James 1 and 1. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord Yahweh Shah, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. Okay, so this, the, the uh, Israelites are scattered abroad. Let's go to First Peter now. Okay, and just like I showed that Israelites were called Gentiles, this is a, another another one. Peter, an apostle of Yahusha Mashiach, which is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Uh, verse 2, elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High, the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. And if you read uh, to find out who the elect is, Isaiah 45 and 4 is Israel. But it's, the Gentiles weren't scattered, you know, were among the nations. Even back then, they were among the nations, just like we're among the nations now, amongst the Gentiles. All right. <clears throat> so let me uh, got two more scriptures, and then yeah, that, it was just the extra. I just wanted to show, um, just wanted to show that that the dispersed they actually say Christians that were among uh. The, the Christians were uh, scattered among the Gentiles, is what they say, which shows that the Christians had to be the Israelites. Okay. Um, all right. So this is uh, John, St. John 11, and I'll start at <clears throat> 48. If we, here you go. All right, if we if we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. And that's going into what the Pharisees and the council they was talking about the Lord, saying if we believe on him, then the Romans, just like today, you you fake pastors of our nation are sold out. Uh, five hundred three one, and and you you can't tell the truth. You don't want to tell the truth because, you know, this this wicked society will come against you. You won't be fed, you know, but y'all a bunch of sellouts and y'all going to be destroyed for teaching lies to our people, which are so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians. We are the true Israelites. All right. So verse 49. 
and one of them named uh, uh, Cephas, being a high priest, the same year said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation perishes not. So what did the scripture, what did that just say? That one man should die for the people. What people? We're going to find out. And that the whole nation, and what nation is that? Perish not. Is that all people? Is that all nations, Gentiles, everybody? Let's see. And this spake he not of himself being high, uh, being high priest that year. He prophesied that Yahushai or Jesus, which you ignorantly call, which they ignorantly call, should die for that nation, okay, which nation, and and not for that nation only, okay, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad, okay, so that's showing you what I read earlier about the Gentiles and the scattered Israelites in James 1, 1 and 1, and who who did who did he die for? You, and um, again, go to my uh, um, my Prince Makazab page and watch uh, you know for uh, John three sixteen. All right, so let me get this last scripture and then I'm gonna close it out. But showing again that the the Israelites are scattered abroad. All right, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to this other Bible that I use. Um, so I'm gonna get into Tobit. Yeah, here we go. Tobit 13. <clears throat> to and the Apocrypha. Uh, the point is, let me see. Okay, uh, verse, I'll just start at the top. Then Tobit, who, uh, then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, Blessed be the Most High that liveth forever, and blessed be his kingdom. For he do scourge us and hath mercy. He leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. And hell is talking about the grave when you look that up. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. Okay. Uh, verse 4. There declare his greatness and exalt him before all the living, for he is our power and he is the power of our father forever. So forever, the Mosai, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, will be our, the, the God of Israel will be the Israelites' God. Just like it tells you what uh, in uh, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that before I close out. Uh, verse five, and he will scourge us for our iniquities, and will have mercy again, and will gather us out of all nations among who he hath scattered us. Okay, so every time we went away, it was the seed of Israel that was scattered, not all nations. You know what I'm saying? So. Those, just like also in Acts, if you read Acts, the second chapter, fifth verse, show, showing you that Jews were among all nations under heaven. Okay. Um, let me get that real quick, just to close it out. This is Joel. Sorry again for having to hold the camera like this, but... Uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> but uh, this is Joel uh, 2 and 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Most High, your power and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. All right. So that's the Most High's word. All right. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show show that. Um, hope brothers and sisters was edified. You know, like I said, refer to the, the Prince Makazab page on, I'm going to put it in the description link, you know.
So with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.